Hey guys, this is Snehal Vaidya and welcome back to the Paleo Palette Cafe. Today we're doing a variation of chicken curry once again and this time we're doing a chicken curry from the western part of India known as the Goan chicken curry. But I made a little variation to this recipe and hence I like to call it as a coriander coconut chicken curry. It's got coriander, it's got coconut and it has chicken nectar but along with a ton of other flavors that makes this recipe absolutely special. Also it's super simple to make so let's all chicken out there. Oh sorry bad joke. Shouldn't be chicken in then? It's kind of making it. We'll start by marinating our chicken and here I've taken about 5 medium sized chicken breasts and I've chopped them into pieces. I'm going to add in about 1 fourth cup of olive oil to this along with a teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt. I'm also going to add in half a teaspoon each of turmeric and chilli powder along with 1 heaping teaspoon of coriander powder. That's it. I'm going to give all of this a good mix until all the spices and the oil is nicely incorporated. And then I'm going to set this aside in the fridge to marinate for at least 4 to 5 hours. Next to a heated skillet, I'm going to add in about 2 tablespoons of pure desi ghee. And once the ghee is adequately hot, I'll add in about 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds along with half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, which is completely optional. I'm just going to saute them for a bit and once my mustard starts crackling in, I'm going to add in about 2 medium sized finely chopped onions to this. Next I'm going to add in a little bit of salt about you know one fourth to half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to mix them well and then I'm going to cook these onions on a medium flame for about 15 to 20 minutes until they are nice and tender and they caramelize well. I'm going to start by adding in three to four cloves of garlic along with a knob of ginger. Then I'm going to add in one cup of coriander leaves to this along with 1 4th cup of coconut milk. Next, I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of black pepper powder and about half a teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt. And lastly, I'm going to squeeze in juice of half a lemon. Then I'm just going to secure the lid and I'm going to blend these ingredients. Thereafter, I'm going to add in 4 pieces of green chilies into this along with one more 1 4th cup of coconut milk and then I'm going to give them a final blend. Until I get a nice creamy green mixture that looks like this. Let's turn the attention to the onions. They look perfectly done, caramelized really well. Now I'm going to add in two large sized chopped tomatoes and if you don't have large ones, go ahead and use three medium sized ones. And I'm going to cook them well with the base mixture, you know, for about four to five minutes until the tomatoes are nice and tender. And once that happens, I'm going to drop in our lovely green coriander coconut mixture that we just prepared. And don't you guys absolutely love the refreshing green flavor? I'm going to mix this well with the base mixture. And then I'm going to add in a few spices. Here I have a teaspoon of black pepper powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric, one heaping teaspoon of coriander, and one teaspoon of garam masala. I'm going to mix this well. I'm going to cook them on a medium flame for about four to five minutes or until I get my first boil. And after that is a good time to drop in the chicken. My chicken has actually been, you know, marinating inside the fridge for overnight. I'm going to mix the chicken well with the base mixture. Make sure all the pieces are nicely coated. Now is a good time to add in some salt. I'm going to mix them well once again. And then I'm going to cover this mixture and I'm going to cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes. 
and after about 25 minutes have a look at this this looks absolutely done you know beautiful i love the green color and the aroma is fantastic now as a part of the last step i'm going to add in one tablespoon of chicken curry masala and if you want to see the brand this is the brand that i've been using mdh it has all natural normal spices nowhere in the packet does it indicate that it has uh, wheat or dairy or any possibilities of cross contamination and and yeah i mean i've been using these guys for a long period of time so, so yeah that's the brand that i've been using now i'm going to go ahead and mix this mixture very well you know until everything is nicely incorporated and then i'm going to cook this curry on an open flame i'm not going to cover it this time for about uh, three to four minutes and after that i'm just going to go ahead and garnish them with some dry coconut flakes now this is obviously completely optional and uh, you can go ahead and skip this but you know it's kind of nice it gives a nice uh, feel good factor to the you know mouth of the taste so so yeah and i'm going to give this a final stir and we are now ready to serve this looks absolutely fab just going to give one try mm. oh my god the flavors have come out so well it's a little bit on the spicy side i must admit but you know this is absolutely perfect for somebody like me but if it doesn't suit your palate go ahead and level down the chilies that you're adding at an earlier stage you know this this recipe is super packed with you know the flavor of lemon and coriander and there's the slight tinge of coconut you know just the way i like it you know it, otherwise goan chicken curry is heavy on coconut but i kind of level down the coconut cuz i like more of the flavor of coriander and you know ginger and you know, garlic spices i'm not a fan of you know coconut too much but um, but yeah you know this this is absolutely fat go ahead and try this recipe i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope that you'll be making my version of the coriander coconut chicken curry or as it is popularly known as the goan chicken curry if you do make make sure you take a picture and tag me on social media meanwhile go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next week with yet another fantastic and savory recipe until then choose healthy to stay healthy bye bye Thank you.